Ford and GM slam the brakes, sending shockwaves through the car world. But hold on, it's not just a flat tire. This temporary halt hides a deeper story, one tangled with electric dreams, clashing presidents, and the very future of American manufacturing. Two giants, two paths, Biden revs the engine for a green revolution while Trump pumps the brakes on change. Inside the factories, whispers of inventory woes and quality concerns mix with the electric hum of innovation. Is this a detour or a dead end? We'll peel back the layers, expose the spark that ignited this fire, and navigate the bumpy road ahead. Buckle up, because the future of trucks SUVs and electric vehicles hangs in the balance. Political discourse has been sparked by the recent temporary closures of Ford and GM, with both President Biden and former President Trump voicing their opinions on the future of electric cars and US manufacturing. As an advocate for EVs, Biden believes they are essential to combating climate change and generating green jobs. This vision is reflected in the policies of his administration, which include tax benefits for producers and customers, and a target of 50% EV sales by 2030. He applauds GM's union workforce and Ford's commitment to Michigan, saying that electric innovation will help resurrect the American car sector. In contrast, Trump adopts a more doubtful stance. Although he isn't completely against EVs, he has concerns about their economic feasibility and environmental advantages in comparison to gas guzzlers. His criticism of corporations like Ford for outsourcing production elsewhere is centered on conventional manufacturing employment and cars built in the United States. He dismisses worries about climate change and opposes Biden's EV subsidies, arguing that they are unjust favors given to particular automakers. Who is correct then? Like most things in politics, the solution isn't cut and dry. Both viewpoints are valid in that they show the intricate opportunities and problems that the car industry faces, as well as the way forward for a sustainable future. Even if the shutdowns are just temporary, the discussion they've started will undoubtedly last for a very long time. Car buyers have had to put up with vacant dealerships and delayed delivery for years. The pandemic caused supply chain disruptions, production was hampered by material shortages, and inventory levels in the once reliable truck and SUV segments were low. Given the current state of the automotive industry, it is disconcerting to see that both General Motors and Ford have announced the temporary closure of their entire production facilities. However, a deeper examination uncovers two unique stories, each with its own subtleties and implications, behind these shutdowns, allaying early concerns. Even if both automakers are momentarily applying the brakes, the motivations are very dissimilar. Beginning on March 27th, GM's Fort Wayne facility, which produces the well-liked Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra, will go into proactive shutdown mode for two weeks. This is a planned activity based on internal data rather than a response to a crisis. Since there may be overstock as a result of increased production at a time of stable demand, proactive inventory management has been decided upon. Other full-size truck facilities will continue to run and the business has a detailed plan in place to modify output throughout the year. This strategic halt is in accordance with GM's overarching plan as presented by CFO Paul Jacobson. Ford's closure, on the other hand, is the result of distinct circumstances. The electric F-150 Lightning assembly line has been voluntarily stopped in the wake of a recent car fire at their Michigan plant. This prompt action puts safety first while enabling any necessary production adjustments in light of the incident. Although specifics are still lacking, Ford's aggressive stance demonstrates their dedication to the safety of its employees and the caliber of their electric cars. Even though these brief shutdowns look alarming when viewed in the light of previous car problems, closer inspection reveals a more complex picture. GM's action demonstrates a commitment to efficient inventory control and flexibility in response to shifting market dynamics. Ford's shutdown demonstrates the company's dedication to quality assurance and safety in the rapidly growing electric vehicle market. Thus, even if the news could cause some people to squirm at first, it's important to learn more and comprehend the particular circumstances that underlie each production halt. These shutdowns indicate how two significant firms are adjusting their strategies in a dynamic and complex market, rather than necessarily casting the auto industry in a negative light. Although there is still uncertainty regarding the future of trucks, SUVs, and electric cars, GM and Ford have shown that they are committed to meeting the difficulties that lie ahead with these proactive measures. Despite being hailed as a game changer in the electric truck market, Ford's electric F1 150 Lightning hasn't had a flawless ride. 
Even though the recent fire at the Michigan plant was quickly put out, it is a sobering reminder of the difficulties and complexities associated with creating cars of the future. Beyond the immediate problem, however, the fire also highlights broader quality control issues that Ford has been facing lately. A pre-delivery fire that started in the F-150 Lightning and spread to others caused Ford to briefly stop production. The incident raises significant concerns over safety procedures and possible battery system problems, even if specifics are still being withheld. But Ford asserts that the underlying cause has been found and pledges to conduct a comprehensive inquiry before to starting up again. While it is admirable that the fire was put out so quickly, the public's concerns about the fire's cause and possible recurrence are heightened by the lack of transparency. Issues with infotainment systems not working properly to paint flaws have been identified by industry evaluations and customer complaints. Ford needs to prioritize and address quality control issues throughout its whole production line, not just its flagship electric vehicle. In light of these worries and the lightning incident, a divide in the path. Ford has the chance to halt, reevaluate, and put strong quality control procedures in place during the closure, even if it also offers logistical and financial challenges. Crucial actions include tightening up safety regulations, making sure that testing processes are comprehensive, and encouraging a culture of quality throughout the production process. Rebuilding public confidence in the F-150 Lightning will also depend heavily on openness and disclosure of the fire investigation's conclusions. Despite the recent setbacks, the F-150 Lightning is still a major competitor in the electric truck race, as seen by the substantial pre-orders. However, more than simply cutting-edge technology is needed to move forward. Ford will use a redoubled commitment to quality, strict safety regulations, and honest communication as a compass to help it meet the difficulties and take advantage of the potential that the electric vehicle market presents. Looking behind GM's calculated halt, the automotive industry as a whole demonstrates a challenging game of inventory management in the face of unstable manufacturing conditions. Comparing leaner overseas competitors like Toyota, Honda, and Kia, who manage with just 30 days supply, to domestic players like Ford and Stellantis, who find themselves carrying much greater inventory levels. This disparity demonstrates the different approaches and difficulties that different manufacturers have encountered in the post-pandemic period. After the 2008 financial crisis, automakers closely matched supply and demand, growing acutely conscious of inventory bloat. Nonetheless, a careful balancing act has been necessary due to the recent material shortages. Even though GM and Ford's shutdowns are only temporary, they reveal a great deal about the continuous instability in the car industry. GM's well-considered delay is indicative of its emphasis on profitability and making the best use of its current inventory. Ford, on the other hand, faces a distinct challenge in 2024, resolving enduring quality control problems. The recent announcement of a joint battery plant with contemporary Amperex technology exacerbates this difficulty. Ford's EV battery supply chain is strengthened by this action, but it also raises concerns about possible resource redundancy and allocation within the company's electric vehicle program. While the temporary shutdowns of GM and Ford's production lines might initially spark concern, closer inspection reveals a more nuanced story. GM's calculated pause is a strategic move focused on optimizing inventory management in a changing market. Ford's shutdown, on the other hand, prioritizes safety and quality control in the face of challenges surrounding its flagship electric vehicle. These proactive stances, though not without their hurdles, demonstrate a commitment to navigating the complexities of the new automotive landscape. The future of trucks, SUVs, and electric vehicles remains uncertain, but these temporary pauses represent not a retreat, but a recalibration. As GM and Ford adjust their course, they pave the way for a future where innovation, quality, and resilience continue to fuel the American automotive spirit.